come at the hour, come at the woman. With the experienced Heather Watson ruled out of Fed Cup action in Bath the largely untested Katie Bolter stepped up to the plate and there's every chance she will become a permanent fixture in Ankia Thivong's Great Britain side. Entering the first tie on British soil in 26 years, Bolter's only previous experience of representing her country came in doubles but she performed like a seasoned pro as she rattled off four singles wins against Slovenia, Greece, Hungary and Serbia to help the Brits return to the World Group 2 playoff. Sure, Bolter may well have only beaten players ranked below her but under the added pressure that comes with performing in front of home support, her results are not to be sniffed at. There's a lot to like about the 22-year-old. She's quick around the court, possesses a heavy forehand and a decent-paced first serve, while the mental fortitude displayed at Bath University has impressed. Many would have crumbled in the difficult situations she has found herself in this week, but Bolter has shown a knack for finding her way through even when far from her best. Off the ground Bolter has quite a wide skill set, particularly on the forehand wing. She's able to vary the length, pace and spin of her ground strokes to good effect, often disturbing opponents' rhythm. Her ability to change up her game is a lesson her compatriot and well-renowned ball spanker Johanna Conta could do with learning. The backhand is a decent stroke, too, although it lacks the variation of the forehand. At its best, it arrows through the air, fizzing just over the net with impressive depth and speed. Unlike many female players, the blonde-haired Brit is also not afraid of a surge to the net, such variety and bravery in her game can see her become a force to be reckoned with. Her commitment to the team itself has been noted. Indeed, Bolter refused to do any one-to-one -one interviews following her heroic efforts in Bath so not to take the spotlight away from the achievements of the collective. There are weaknesses to her game, however. While she has the pace to be a decent defensive player on paper, there is work to be done on that side of her game. The British number 2 too readily uses a forehand slice even when she's comfortably up to the ball. It's a shot that typically lands midway up the court and 99 times out of 100 will be put away by top-level players. While she can get away with it to a degree at this level, which is essentially equivalent to lead one football, against the world's best it is a tactic that will be ruthlessly exposed. Comparing Bolter with men's number one Novak Djokovic is perhaps unfair but Bolter would do well to take on board the lessons of the Serbs' defensive game. there is something to be said for getting the ball back into play, a little more risk from those positions will serve her well in the long term. The second serve can also leave a lot to be desired. Undoubtedly improved since Wimbledon last year, where it truly looked a liability, there have still been nervy moments throughout the week. Too often there's a tendency to just roll the ball into play, a move that was brutally exposed on numerous occasions by Hungary's Dale Magolfi and, again, will cause her problems at the highest level. Difficulties with the ball toss are perhaps at the root of the problems. That said, Bolter should have aspirations of making the top 50 this year. It's a realistic goal that would represent decent progress. She certainly has the makings of a top game providing the application comes with it. Where is the ceiling? It's tough to say. Off the cuff, I would suggest Bolter has the ability to climb inside the top 30 in future. Better game management will come, too many times this week she has surrendered strong positions to be dragged into a dogfight, and tactically she will improve under the stewardship of former Davis Cup captain Jeremy Bates. As ever, the biggest danger will be a loss of focus. Already signed by the same management group as Neymar and David Beckham, Bolter is viewed as a highly marketable player who could well become the face of British tennis in the post-Andy Murray era. The spotlight comes with its own challenges and fellow Brits Heather Watson and Laura Robson have learnt the hard way that reaching the upper echelons of the game is a lot easier than staying there. But Bolter, to her credit, seems to have a good head on her shoulders. Should that remain the case, the British game appears in safe hands. <laughs>